cutting. Careful, careful. Watch out for the cords, friends. Watch out for the. Slow down. Slow down. Look out for the carpet. Yes, I will play with that. Now, just gonna log it in now. So I see you can help me. Careful, careful. You're good. <laughs> okay, Toad Ann's just gonna have to hold the bow a little bit when she gets it. The wind it'll get a little fluffy. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna get the wires. I'm just like you don't know. Okay. Or the or you're gonna like it. Okay. So you know you can just press play and pause up here, or okay. use the mouse trackpad. Okay. Okay. So it's set to go. You'll see the press play. Once okay. I let Are you just gonna look? Oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> Here, you know what we can do.
line and walk back over the tall road. Walk back over, watch yourself. Hey, good job. She's going to grab her computer. Uh huh, that's what I do. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for being here on this beautiful, if slightly chilly day. And before we go any further, will you join me in offering up just one more round of applause for the fantastic performers of the Elbridge Elementary School Chorus who entertain us so wonderfully. To officially commence our program, will the color guard from Cub Scout Pack 432 come forward so that we can salute the flag with our Pledge of Allegiance? No? Color guard, attention! Scout, salute! Those not in uniform, please place your right hand over your heart. Scouts. Once again, welcome. It is wonderful to see you all here today. I'm Ann Gilligan, Interim CEO of Howard County Library System. We are, we are absolutely thrilled that you have joined us to celebrate the grand reopening of the HCLS Elkridge Branch and DIY Education Center. I know at times the waiting for a new Elkridge Branch must have seemed interminable, but we are here today to officially bid farewell to the phrase, coming soon. And if you think the outside is totally awesome, just wait till you get inside. At last you'll have the opportunity to walk in, look up and say, wow, this is huge. And you'll be right. At 35,000 square feet, we have more than double the size of the previous branch. Next you'll get to look around and say, gosh, it's incredibly bright in here. Again, you're right. There are windows everywhere, big, small, clear, colored all offering opportunities galore to look everywhere. When you look a little closer, you'll notice many upgrades. A new welcoming lobby and customer service area in the forefront and a spacious cafe nearby. You will now have multiple study rooms when before you had none. 
The Children's Cove is huge, featuring its own classroom space, expanded collection, right-sized furniture, and an unparalleled sense of whimsy and fun. The Teen Zone features comfortable booth seating, along with totally wired study areas for student collaboration. And did I mention meeting rooms? We have tripled the public meeting room space at Elk Ridge. And of course, there is the entirely new DIY wing, where you can indulge all aspects of your creative self, from home repairs to sewing, biking self-sufficiency to jewelry making. Naturally, I've saved the best for last, the stand-up staff of the Elk Ridge branch are back in their old stomping grounds, ready to lead you through the adventure that is the new branch. <laughs> Phil, Ronnie, Mike, could you just wait, wait, back there in the vestibule. <laughs> and they're smart, too. They're the smartest libraries down there. That's right. We know you got to see them in the express branch. But now you, you and the staff will be truly home. It is our hope that, like us, you consider the Elkridge branch to be an inspiring destination for students of all ages, a place to read, study, conduct research, attend classes and events, and simply experience the Elkridge community like nowhere else. Again, welcome. Thank you for your support this morning and throughout this long yet momentous journey. I think you will agree your new branch was well worth the wait. And thank you. And now Louise Reamer, Chair of the Library Systems Board of Trustees, would like to share just a few words with you. Louise? Louise. There are a few words, too. <laughs> On behalf of the Howard County Library System Board of Trustees, we welcome you. We express our deepest gratitude to the County Executive, Alan Hillman, and the County Council and the State of Maryland. Together, they funded this project because they recognize a strong investment in public education for everyone is a strong investment for the future. Thank you. Thank you, Louise. It is now my great privilege to introduce our county executive, who has been so supportive of this new branch and the entire Charles Ecker campus. Please join me in offering a very warm welcome for Alan Kittleman. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ann. And uh, Louise Reamer set the bar right for all of us. We gotta be very quick here, it's cold outside. Yeah. But just really quickly, just thank you to the library system, to the staff, the board of trustees. Uh, you are amazing for our community. Thank you so, so much. But thank you, Elkridge. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for advocating. Thank you for pushing us to make things get done. Thank you for doing what you need to do to make sure your families and your community have what they need. And this is gonna be awesome. I, it's such a special day. When you walk through here, you're gonna be so excited. But I also wanna say, we gotta talk about the 50 plus center too. We also have this 50 plus center. I, I went through it yesterday. It's been open now for since Monday. And I tell you, the best thing that could happen, the best thank you you could ever get is to see the faces of the individuals in there. The, some ladies were in there yesterday, I could just see them beaming because now they have a 50 plus center that's five times bigger than what they had before. Yeah. And it's important for us to remember that we need to value our youngest as well as our oldest members of our community. And so now Elkridge, you have something to be proud of, that we all can be proud of, and that we can continue to learn and thrive in one of the best communities in the country. Thank you very much. Oh, before I forget, I almost forgot, I can't do this. Chuck Ecker. Yes. Chuck Ecker, this complex is named after Chuck Ecker. He was a great man, a man of education, a man who cared a lot about our community. So I hope as we come in here, we remember Chuck Ecker and all that he meant to our community. And, and his family is an amazing family. And I just want to make sure that we think about Chuck today. I'm sure he's smiling down, very pleased for the Elkers community. Thank you. Now joining us from the Howard County Council, the Chair of the Council, Mary Kay Sigeti. Hey. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is a fabulous morning. I am privileged to be here with my colleagues, Dr. Calvin Ball and Jen Terrassa. And I am also privileged to be here uh, with a message from your council member, John Weinstein. John wanted me to say to you all that 
today is the day that we retire the mini library that he helped bring to this community and we open the door on the big new library. So with that, congratulations to the library system. Thank you to my colleagues and everyone. Thank you to the community here in Elkridge and enjoy this place. It's going to be fabulous. Yay, Yay. To share greetings from the Maryland General Assembly, Please join me in welcoming the chair of the Howard County Delegation, State Senator Guy Gazzoni. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Howard County is a very special place. We really need to know that. We're very fortunate because of all the people in the county and what we want for ourselves and our families. And this is it. This is good stuff here. This was. You know, libraries had to change over the years, right? They had to be something different with the internet and everything. But our library system has innovated, it has been smart, it has been thoughtful. Who thought we would be uh, coming to borrow a compound meter saw? I mean, miter saw. You won't be getting it. You won't be getting it. I won't. And I even know that word. But I'll look it up later just to make sure. Look, we're very fortunate in this county. So many people involved in making this happen. On behalf of the delegation, uh, Delegate Ebersol, Delegate Flanagan, Senator Bates, and, and all the, the delegation, we're so proud to have played a little part in all of this. This is a great community, great thing. Oh, and I also want to recognize, I know I saw uh, former uh, Councilwoman Courtney Watson, who uh, was very involved in this project also. Charlie Figgy. Oh, Charlie Figgy, uh, also former Councilman uh, Charlie Figgy is here. A lot of folks involved in this. Thank you all. It's a terrific place. Congrats. Our new neighbors. Ooh. <laughs> he, all, he always does that too. <laughs> Our new neighbors from the 50 Plus Center would also like to add their greetings. Would you please extend a warm welcome to the director of the county's Department of Community Resources and Services, Jackie Scott. Hey, Jackie. Good morning, Elk Ridge. Good morning. Thank you for allowing us for over 20 years to serve you in our 50 plus center. We are so excited for all of you, all ages, to as you walk through the library, journey through the new experience of the newly reno renovated Elk Ridge 50 plus center. Yeah. We have proudly been able to go from just 2,000 square feet with two staff to 10,000 square feet with a dream team that's over in the corner. Say hey, everybody. They are excited for you to see everything that's there. Many, many people we don't have time and don't have the weather conditions to thank. But know that we appreciate your voice. We listened, we heard, and we have planned for an awesome future. So we look forward to seeing all of you, the littlest to our most old, sen senior oldest, um, excuse me, our, our seniors, to be able to collaborate together in this great new space. So thank you, it's the cold, so I'm going to make it very short and just say welcome to this new campus. And thank you uh, for recognizing all of our other elected officials that are out here. I just wanted to give a quick shout out though to some key members who were instrumental in delivering this building. From the library staff, our chief operating officer, Angela Braid, and her unparalleled support services staff. <laughs> the county's Dep Department of Public Works, headed by Jim Irvin. And Costello Construction, who is responsible for delivering this beautiful structure, and their project manager, Kevin Tarantino. So with that, I think we are ready to cut a ribbon and let some people into the warmth. <laughs> you want to get a couple kids up here, maybe? Sure. 
I don't have any kids that might want to come. Yeah. <laughs> if we have any uh, small children who want to come up. Hi, I'm Vicki Garcia from the Park. John Sarbanes office. Okay. And this is in our district. I have a certificate. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't have to present it, but if you could just let uh, announce it. Okay, uh, yeah, can I, I'm sorry, I have to go and cut the ribbon okay, up. Can sorry. I get that? Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. Just stay back right there. trying to get by and we're going to hit. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. At this point, they're not getting out the second. That's so. yeah. true, right. <laughs> All right, take a step. Don't lose Mr. Larry. Well, you might lose Mr. Larry. Hey, if you lose us, go inside and wait, okay? You just wait for us. Come on, keep going. Oh, that's it. No one else is there. Oh. Did we hit the quota already? <laughs> Can I turn on the mic? <laughs> it's a short walk. Oh, yeah. It's a safe place. Yeah. yeah, both my kids went in right away. My wife looked back and she's like, what do you want me to do? Yeah. <laughs> They'll be fine. Oh my gosh, I thought you were in there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna go look around. Okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you don't find it for everybody. No, no, they, no I'm, I'm saying it's here. I've been looking, me and Dad have been looking around. No, Andrew, where are you going? I'm going to the driveway. Yes. I thought you already was in there. You already went in. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to party anyway. Like, I'm people who have it. Like, who need to get to meet her, huh? Not like well, the problem is I don't think he's coming out if he's in. <laughs> That's the only good thing. Your ad comes up with my new speech all the time. Yeah, just to let you know, it's my constant life. Constantly. Along with Roger. Which way do you have it? Do you like a sound? Talking side, talking side. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm 
going to get in there any faster. I was going to point out. Well, you go out and go. I'm not going to. Right. on the left. Huh? on the left. He's been greeting people as they come in. He's got the black he's got, guy, No, he? no. He's, um, he's got kind of reddish hair with a little gray in the temperature. <laughs> He must be a state politician. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think he was. I, I'm, 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 I, I, I'm sorry, I don't speak for him to know this. I see you. You're on the far side. I'm on the far side, back across the crowd. Sweetie, you're going the wrong way. You're coming out. Did you get inside already? Have you got all the way in? Take advantage of your small size while you can. I love this. They, they're like the first two in, and then they stop at the door waiting for Thank you. 